On November 7, 1811, American troops led by future U.S. President William Henry Harrison clashed with Native American warriors led by the Shawnee Chief Tecumseh at the Battle of Tippecanoe. The battle was fought near the river in Indiana and was a pivotal moment in the ongoing conflict between Native Americans and settlers in the Western Territories. Despite being outnumbered and outgunned, Harrison and his troops managed to hold their ground and ultimately emerged victorious over the Native American forces. The battle was a major blow to Tecumseh and his followers and helped to solidify American control over the region. In 1812, the United States made a historic declaration of war on Great Britain marking the beginning of what would be known as the War of 1812. This conflict would ultimately shape the course of American history as it saw the young nation fighting to defend its sovereignty and independence against one of the world's most powerful military forces. With battles raging on land and at sea, the War of 1812 would be a challenging and costly conflict but it would ultimately result in a strengthened and more united United States. In 1813, a pivotal battle known as the Battle of Lake Erie was fought and won by the United States, marking a significant turning point in the War of 1812. With control of the Great Lakes at stake, the American naval forces engaged in a fierce and grueling conflict against their British counterparts. Despite facing overwhelming odds, the American fleet, led by Commander Oliver Hazard Perry, emerged victorious in a decisive battle that would secure their dominance of the region. This critical victory not only boosted American morale, but also paved the way for further military successes, ultimately helping to bring an end to the War of 1812 and solidifying the United States as a major naval power. In 1814, during the height of the War of 1812, the city of Washington, D.C. fell victim to a devastating attack by British forces. In retaliation for American raids on Canadian territory, British troops marched into the capital city and set fire to many of its most important government buildings, including the White House and the Capitol. The attack, which was carried out over the course of several hours, caused widespread destruction and chaos and left many Americans in shock and disbelief. While the city would eventually be rebuilt and restored, the burning of Washington, D.C. remains a powerful symbol of the destructive impact of war on both nations involved. In 1815, in the final days of the War of 1812, a decisive battle was fought in New Orleans that would secure a major victory for the United States. Facing a large British force that had set its sights on capturing the strategic port city, American troops led by General Andrew Jackson and East in a fierce and bloody battle that lasted for several hours. Despite being vastly outnumbered, the American forces managed to hold their ground and ultimately emerged victorious over the British. The Battle of New Orleans would be remembered as one of the most significant military victories in American history, solidifying the nation's place as a major world power and bringing an end to the War of 1812. In 1816, the Second Bank of the United States was established as a means of regulating the nation's financial system. The new bank was created in response to the economic challenges faced by the young nation, which was struggling with inflation, a lack of credit, and an unstable currency. Modeled after the First Bank of the United States, which had been disbanded in 1811, the Second Bank was granted a 20-year charter and tasked with the responsibility of regulating the nation's currency, managing government finances, 
and providing much needed stability to the economy. The establishment of the Second Bank of the United States was a significant step forward in the development of the nation's financial system and helped to lay the foundation for future economic growth and prosperity. In 1817, Mississippi was officially admitted to the Union as the 20th state. Located in the southern region of the United States, Mississippi had a long and rich history dating back to its early days as a Spanish and French colony. Following its admission to the Union, the state quickly became an important center of agriculture and commerce thanks to its fertile soil and strategic location along major trade routes. Today, Mississippi is known for its rich cultural heritage, including its unique blend of European, African, and Native American influence, as well as its vibrant music, arts, and cuisine. In 1818, the United States and Britain came to an important agreement that would establish the 49th parallel as the official border between the United States and Canada. The treaty, which was negotiated by American Secretary of State John Quincy Adams and British Foreign Secretary Frederick John Robinson, helped to resolve a long-standing dispute over the boundary between the two nations. Under the terms of the agreement, the United States would gain control of vast territories in the Pacific Northwest, while Canada would retain control of much of its existing territory in the North. The establishment of the 49th parallel as the border between the United States and Canada would prove to be a crucial milestone in the history of both nations, helping to pave the way for greater cooperation and collaboration in the years to come. In 1819, the United States was hit by its first major financial crisis in history, known as the Panic of 1819. The crisis was triggered by a number of factors including a speculative boom in land and property prices, overproduction of goods, and a sharp decline in the price of agricultural commodities. As a result, banks and other financial institutions across the country began to fail triggering a widespread economic downturn that lasted for several years. The Panic of 1819 had a profound impact on the nation, causing widespread hardship and suffering for millions of Americans. It also served as a stop reminder of the need for effective financial regulation and oversight, and led to the establishment of a number of new institutions and policies aimed at stabilizing the economy and preventing future crises. 